Hello good people and welcome back to the channel. My name is Martin with Bellaward Auto Spa. I've got a nice video for you today. Uh, we're going to be revisiting uh, CarPro's new products. Um, today's video is going to be about CarPro Retire. This is CarPro's, uh, as you can see, dedicated tire and rubber cleaner. Um, this, this isn't meant for wheels, literally just tires. Uh, this is meant to just prep a tire before you use your favorite tire dressing such as Pearl, uh, Secorts Blackout, whatever it may be. So this is an interesting product because um, as you may or may not know on my channel I've reviewed quite a few different uh, wheel and tire cleaners which I'm a fan of. Uh, they're non-acidic wheel and tire cleaners. They do both in one go and some of them do it pretty well. Adams is a good example. Meguiar's, 3D, uh, they all work very well. This is just a dedicated tire cleaner. It's not meant for wheels and it does use a foaming trigger. Um, I'm kind of, I have mixed feelings about foaming triggers uh, because I feel like they do use a lot of product but they do get that nice foam on there. But you can always use a pump foamer, uh, usually a little bit better. Now we'll look at the instructions for this real quick. Go ahead and pause it there. Um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Rinse a tire, let it dwell for 30 seconds, and then uh, <clears throat> agitate, rinse it off. So what we're going to do is I'm going to... We're going to rinse the tire off, um, spray it on there, and then we'll rinse it off. We'll see how that works, and then we will um, spray it on again, agitate uh, with a drill brush, and then see how clean the tire comes after that. So we're just going to see how it works on its own, and then we're going to, you know, with agitation. But with agitation, almost any wheel and tire cleaner works pretty well, so, or tire cleaner, excuse me. So let's uh, go ahead and get this started. I'll get everything set up. We'll move over to the car, and... Uh, We'll go ahead and get into this review. All right, so I got the back tire of my wife's car, and I want to thank my uh, wonderful wife for not taking great care of her car, so I've always got a nice, reasonably dirty vehicle to test products out on. So uh, as the instruction said, we want to wash the, or rinse the wheel with a uh, high pressure water. So we got the pressure washer for that. So let's do that. knock some of the dirt off the wheel while we're at it. So we're going to turn our sprayer on. Alright. So again, spray, retire generously onto rubber, let it foam and dwell for 30 seconds. So. I notice with foaming triggers, or triggers in general, if you pull the trigger really hard, you get a nice spray pattern. If you don't, uh, you get a not so great spray pattern. But I mean, you look at that stuff, it's turning brown immediately. Got some on the wheels, whatever. But not a big deal. I mean, it's turning brown immediately, so that's, that's a good sign. I am going a little overboard in what I'm using, but uh, you know, we're just testing the product out, so it's all right. We're gonna let it sit there for about 30 seconds, but you can see how as soon as it made contact, uh, the foam turned brown. That is a good, that's a good sign. That's what I'd like to see in a tire cleaner. Um, I've used other, you know, tire cleaners from other brands that, that are just purely tire cleaners, and really what they are, they're just a citrus degreaser or some sort of degreaser. Um, tire cleaners themselves, or wheel and tire cleaners, which we also see, have this effect where you know they foam up nicely and they turn a nice brown when they make contact with a dirty tire. And that's it, pulling all that dirt, grime, um, that, that uh, anti-ozone chemical out of the surface layer of the tire. Now you'll have people say um, it causes dry rot. If it does, you know, I'd like to see that. I've literally never seen that happen uh, when you clean and dress your tire. Because uh, the anti-ozone is in the rubber itself. It, it comes out of the rubber over time, especially when the, t the tire gets dirty to keep it from dry rotting. That's the whole purpose of it. Um, but it doesn't cause the tire to dry rot faster. Um, your tires will dry rot eventually, but most people drive their car frequently enough that they use the tire tread up. The tread life's gone before the tire is, is even close to dry rotting. So I don't know why people keep saying that. But again, if, if you have personally experienced this and you have some sort of uh, video, photo evidence, or just want to share your story, let me know. I'm always interested. You know, I, I like learning things. So. <clears throat> 
So it's been about 30 seconds, so we are going to pressure wash it off. Now normally, yes, you would agitate, but again, uh, we're just we're just testing to see how effective this is if you just spray and rinse. I don't think it's going to do a perfect job, but just want to see. See that runoff probably could that runoff that was right in that area is all brown and gross so it's definitely a strong product uh let me go ahead and uh, we'll reapply it see if you get any more brown from just the foam I'm not really seeing any this time, uh, so just spray and rinse. It did a really good job just spray and rinse. Now granted, these aren't the dirtiest tires. I do clean them about once a week, and I actually just spray and rinse with a degreaser because this car gets so dirty. I don't want to use my good products on it and be just burning through my money because I don't get paid to wash this car. Um, but I, I don't see, I don't really see any browning at all. That's, that's a good sign that it did a good job, just the chemical itself. So let's, uh, Get this drill brush ready. Uh, this is a nice stiff drill brush for tires. I love this thing. And uh, we'll scrub it and we'll see what we get out of it. So you can see it's still a little bit dirty and I, I love these drill brushes. It does get a little bit messy, but it works so fast and it saves you so much from uh, destroying your arm and shoulder having to scrub the thing all over. Whew. All right, now let's spray it off. See how it did. See there, no dirt on my fingers. Um, but you know, because we're doing a demonstration video, we'll do one more round. Let me rinse off this brush to make sure I don't get any browning from the brush. interesting name retire because obviously the word retire is means something different. I wonder why they chose that. Scrub it again, see what we get. I didn't put any in this this time, so Alright, that's all I'm gonna do. Um, Got some, didn't really get any browning, some very, very minor, like on the inner bead. Um, and that you may want to scrub by hand with a brush, honestly. The drill brush is kind of hard to get close without hitting the wheel up with it. And if you got some really nice wheels, I wouldn't use a drill brush like this, but... <clears throat> um, yeah, for really, you can get most tires clean with this, I imagine, with just one round and scrubbing. 
Uh, if you use a drill brush or something similar, a better method, it uh, does a really good job. But I think that initial rinse is crucial uh, because that initial rinse really blasts off all the loose dirt so you can really let the chemical work. So anyways, let's rinse this off again. gonna do it for us ladies and gentlemen that was car pro retire as we can see there as we can see there pretty good product uh, let's go for our final thoughts all right so that was car pro retire so um, overall pretty good product um, honestly unless you're washing your car every now and then or you're just trying to prep your tires once I would go with a bigger bottle um, you're gonna want the thousand milliliter or the four liter jug uh, as far as the stuff being dilutable, they don't say it is, um, but you'd have to play around with it and try. I know other wheel and tire cleaners, like Adams for example, doesn't really say anything about dilution ratios, but most people have found uh, one to one works really well for that, so maybe that'll work really well for this as well. Um, I imagine it'd probably be a good idea, um, but you'd have to try it and see. Uh, anyways, this, this worked pretty well. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this performance. It, it worked just as well as... Uh, Adams, in my opinion. Maybe I can test them against each other later. If you'd like to see that, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think this, uh, this product isn't out in the United States as of yet. Um, it looks like it is available in Canada from uh, Canadian CarPro uh, resellers and some other countries, but uh, this should be available this month at some point. I just don't know when exactly. They didn't give me a date. Um, but if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching. Uh, leave a comment below of your opinions, what your favorite wheel and tire cleaner is, if, if you think you're going to try this one out or what. Um, but other than that, have a good one. Stay tuned for more videos.